What's up travelers? It's Eliz from Means to Travel coming to you today from Santorini in Greece. And today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things that you should bring when you visit Santorini. So I've been here now for almost a week traveling with my family and with Derek and it has been so much fun. Highly recommend coming to this island at some point in your life. But all that to be said, I wanted to share my tips after being here for a week of what you should make sure to pack in your suitcase when you come to Santorini. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So my first tip, and you might see that I have these on my head already for this tip, is you definitely want to bring sunglasses. So first and foremost, the sun is extremely hot and, and bright here in Santorini. We are in the Aegean Sea. And also too, even if your eyes are a little bit better about the sun, the whitewashed buildings all up and down the island reflect the sun off of them and it becomes very, very bright very quickly, especially around midday. So I made sure to bring polarized sunglasses on this trip and I have not regretted it. I carry them everywhere with me. So be sure when you are packing for this trip to bring the best sunglasses that you can because you wanna protect your eyes and you wanna feel comfortable when you are touring around the island. The second item that I'm gonna be sharing about to bring is you might wanna bring your own sunscreen versus buying it on the island itself. And the reason for that is because the sunscreen on the island is fairly expensive. I've been going around looking at convenience stores and pharmacies and seeing that almost everything is 15 euros and above for a bottle about this size. This one's 200 milliliters, which I did bring a checked bag, by the way, on this trip. But you definitely wanna bring your own sunscreen, obviously be, to be protective from the sun, but also to potentially save a little bit of money because you can often find much better deals in other countries versus when you actually get to the island on that particular SPF that you're gonna need in order to not turn into a bright red tourist. And to round out my tips for the things that you should bring in order to protect yourself from that blaring sun, you probably want to consider bringing a hat. And I'm not going to be very prescriptive on what types of hats you would need, but it's really sunny, like I said, and you might want a little bit of extra shade, especially if you're going around to some of the beaches or touring around the towns or enjoying the sunset at night. And so here's mine. I brought a folding hat that is foldable and packable, so it folds up really small in my luggage. And I'll put a link to this one down below of the one that I found on Amazon. So that way, if it makes sense, they have tons of different like ribbon colors and stuff like that. But say you are more interested in baseball caps, that's gonna work too to just really protect your scalp, protect your eyes from the sun. Whatever hat makes the most sense for your personal preferences and needs, definitely put that in your bag. And my next tip is that you are gonna want to bring a bathing suit when you're here. So most likely, when you're traveling to Santorini, you're gonna be here in the warm kind of summer months. So the Santorini travel season is typically from the beginning of May is kind of shoulder season still, but definitely starts June 1st and goes through mid-September. Maybe a couple of you might be visiting in October or something like that, but the island kind of shuts down between November and the beginning of May each year. So most likely you're gonna be here when it's a bit warm outside, which is why you might wanna come. And you will be enjoying some time by the pool or even you might be taking a cruise around the island. There's the volcano cruises, the catamaran cruises. And if you are doing a catamaran cruise that stops in the hot springs, you're actually gonna want to bring a dark colored bathing suit. And the reason for that is because the actual sulfuric waters that you're gonna be swimming in because it's a hot spring that are coming from the volcano and the caldera, it can stain your clothes. So you want something that's like black in color, maybe navy, but not something that's like a white bathing suit like this because it will come out orange. <laughs> you don't want that. So be sure to bring a dark colored bathing suit unless you're just planning on lounging by the pool and in that case then just bring one just bring a suit by the way if you're liking this video so far and finding it helpful for your packing for your upcoming trip to Santorini then definitely press that thumbs up button down below and the red subscribe button it helps support all of the free travel content that I put out on YouTube so thank you in advance for that and my next tip for what to bring when you're in Santorini is actually to bring layers. So we're here in beginning to mid-May and it has been quite a range of temperatures. 
<laughs> and especially this is kind of a desert location and in the evening times it gets a lot cooler than during the day when that sun that bright sun is shining so my tip is to make sure that regardless of what time of year you come you want to have different things that you can layer so that way you can take them on and off throughout the day and to you might even want to bring a windbreaker because it, again if you're on a boat out on the caldera or if you're just walking around town and it's a windy day we're, we're on the ocean then you're gonna want some protection from that wind from potential rain although it doesn't rain that much here it actually rained here while we've been here but it doesn't rain that often or if you're getting cold on and off throughout the day so make sure that you bring different layers that you can take on and off so that way you don't get too cold or too hot throughout the day. Okay, and then for the next item on the list of what to pack for Santorini is something that everyone in my family has adamantly agreed that I needed to share in this video. And that is to make sure that you bring shoes with good soles. And I'm talking good soles. You might not, not want to bring your Converse um, in favor of like really good Nike sneakers or even some hiking boots. And the reason for that is because the cobblestones here are very stony. <laughs> like you can feel, even when you're in really good soles, you can kind of feel every cobblestone as you walk around the, the towns and stuff like that. So in order to stay comfortable, you're gonna want shoes with good soles. We've seen a lot of people wearing just like flip flops or even we've seen a few high heels, although honestly, we've been here a week and I've maybe seen them twice. People can't even like walk in heels because those cobblestones are so thick. So make sure that you bring shoes that are flat and are gonna support you well and not make your feet hurt at the end of the day when you're walking around so much. And also too with that, there's not just cobblestones in the towns like Fira where I am right now, and there are pebble beaches here. So most of the beaches here are not sand beaches, they're rock beaches. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you are protecting your feet and not just relying on flip-flops or something when you're on a really rocky, stony pebble beach. So be sure to bring shoes like water shoes or just shoes with better soles, even for when you're planning on going to the beaches. My next tip for what to bring when you're here is to be sure to pack a day pack with you, regardless of what that would mean for you, whether it's a big purse, whether it's a backpack, just something that you can put your things in throughout the day when you're exploring around the island. There's so many different activities that you can do when you're here. I mean, there's wine tasting, you can go see some ancient ruins, you can take a cab to the different towns, you can like take a cab to Ian and see the sunset, you need a bag to put your camera in to capture the sunset, that sort of thing. So when you are here, you're gonna want to have a day pack with you that is reliable, that is sturdy and gives extra support because most likely you're gonna be out and about exploring something and seeing something throughout the day. So make sure that you have one with you. And on that note, my next tip for what to bring is a water bottle. And the reason for that is twofold. So. First of all, you're gonna wanna have access to water throughout the day because it's going to be extremely hot most likely or just you'll get dehydrated walking around and exploring so much. So for that reason alone, definitely bring one. But also here on the island, the tap water is a little bit like salty. I mean, it's it's got this kind of funky taste, like even the locals don't really drink the tap water. You can wash fruit with it, you can brush your teeth with it, but it just has a funky taste. So most likely you're going to be buying or getting bottled water from the restaurants or from your hotel or from your Airbnb. And we've even bought big liters of water at the grocery store that are much cheaper, by the way, <laughs> um, budget tip. And so make sure that you have something that's smaller than you know the, one of the big liter bottles that you can pour some water into and put into your day pack. So that way you keep hydrated and keep happy and healthy while you're here. And the next tip that you should definitely bring when you're here are a few, if not many, euros and the reason for that is that not everything on this island accepts credit card a lot of places do especially in the cities most restaurants that we've been at in Ia and Fira accept credit card the hotels do but things like taxis are cash only still so there's going to be things like tipping and taxis that you are gonna want cash for when you're here and so be sure to bring a little a few euros with you and then there's ATMs all all around the island as well so it's easy to get cash out but it's always nice when you first arrive and you maybe need a taxi you maybe need somebody to help you with your bags over those cobblestones into your hotel it'll be good to have 
some cash with you. And the 10th item that you should definitely pack when you're coming here, the final one, is make sure that you pack a nice outfit for going out to dinner. So I've noticed that a lot of people are a little bit more upscale when it comes to going out at night here. And I think it has to do with like the honeymooner, the sunsets, um, it's just nice restaurants that you can visit here, especially in the evenings at night. Um, you know, lots of like drinking wine in front of the caldera at sunset. And so you most likely are gonna be partaking in that at least once while you're here on the Santorini Island. And so be sure to pack maybe a nice dress, a nice pair of shoes, that way you don't feel completely out of place when you're going out to dinner. It's so much fun to go to dinner here on the island. We've been enjoying different restaurants each night and seeing the sunset is remarkable. It's absolutely breathtaking. So be sure that you're gonna have something that you can wear to really live up the whole experience. Okay, you guys, and I actually have a bonus tip. So this is the 11th one. Call it a personal preference, which is why I didn't include it in the top tips that you have to bring. But it's that because of the cobblestones streets and sidewalks, depending on where you're staying in the island, you might want to consider bringing a backpack as your suitcase, like one of the carry-on size backpacks as your suitcase, instead of the roller bags. We have seen so many people, and including my family included, us included, have these big roller bags that we're trying to get down the cobblestones to the hotel and it's like super loud. <laughs> and then, you know, people from the hotel will help out, at least we've found, but it's just kind of um, a pain to get the, the wheels over the cobblestones. So having a backpack is a game changer. So we have a bunch of suitcases. <laughs> that have wheels between myself and the rest of my family that are here, but Derek actually brought his Tortuga backpack with him on this trip, and that was probably pretty smart for this particular destination. <laughs> Derek's over there being like, yes. Yeah, um, but yeah, it, uh, it definitely saved him from dragging his suitcase across a ton of cobblestones. But with that being said, luckily we have not experienced this, at least as of yet, but we've seen some wheels get torn off of suitcases already from the cobblestones here. And so, I mean, I don't know what you do at that point. You're basically out of luck with the suitcases that you brought. You have to go buy a new one when you have a wheel missing. So you don't want that to happen to you. Make sure you bring suitcases with good wheels. And if you can, bring backpacks because you probably won't regret it if you're staying at a hotel that you can't drive right up to. So I hope you guys really liked this video about the 10 things that you definitely should pack, plus the bonus tip about what to bring when you visit Santorini. If you found this video to be helpful for your packing for your upcoming trip to Santorini, then definitely please press that thumbs up button down below and the red subscribe button too if you haven't already. So that way you don't miss any of the travel tips, travel vlogs, and other travel videos that I have on this channel. Also, if you have any additional items that I forgot to mention or didn't mention in this video and you visited Santorini and you wanna make sure others know about it too, then definitely put it in the comment section down below. We always love learning from each other on this channel and in this community. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Cheers from Santorini in Greece. Happy travels, bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.